Cougars are slender, agile, and fierce. There is nothing cute about cougars. They're large, fast, adaptable animals with large claws and powerful teeth. Their paws are large and at the end of long, lithe limbs, lending them a remarkable speed over short distances. They're also skilled at leaping and jumping, and they can swim, although they choose not to unless they have no other option. They're not amazing climbers of trees, but they're good at scaling rocks and mountains with their broad paw pads. The cougar, which is also commonly referred to as a puma, mountain lion, or panther, is the second largest cat in North America. Typically, cougars can be identified by a tan or slightly yellow coat, round face, long tail, and erect ears. Adult males grow to 6 to 8 feet, or 1.8 to 2.4 meters long, and females average 5 to 7 feet, or 1.5 to 2.1 meters. Males typically weigh 110 to 180 pounds, or 50 to 82 kilograms, and females 80 to 130 pounds, or 36 to 59 kilograms. The geographic range of the cougar is the greatest of any large wild terrestrial mammal in the Western Hemisphere. From Canadian Yukon through the US, Central, and South America to the southern tip of Chile, Cougars were extirpated from the eastern and central parts of North America within 200 years following European colonization, except for a remnant subpopulation in South Florida. Cougars live in a wide variety of environments including montane coniferous forests, grassland, swamps, lowland tropical forests, dry brush country, and any other areas that offer adequate cover and prey. They use dense vegetation, rocky crevices, and caves for shelter. Cougars aren't picky about their diets. They'll dine on insects, mice, beavers, raccoons, rabbits, and wild turkeys. Since cougars live in Patagonia's Mont Leon National Park, they've become quite skilled at hunting penguins. Those that live in Florida sometimes make a meal out of a crocodile. In North America, cougars frequently eat deer. In fact, they typically kill one large deer every two weeks. These large felines are not generally scavengers, but if a deer carcass has been left exposed, then they may eat it, meaning that the cats sometimes display resourceful behavior. Because of their powerful hind legs, cougars are ambush predators. They are hunters that stalk their victims through the brush and trees before leaping powerfully onto it, delivering a deadly neck bite. The animal can break the neck of its prey with one strong bite and the force of driving its prey to the earth. Cougars are undoubtedly fierce. They hiss, growl, and scream. They're as large as a human, and they can leap great distances to rip their prey to shreds. There is little about a cougar that can be tamed, domesticated, or rendered safe. They're not friendly or docile, and they can't be enticed into games or befriended by people. They are apex predators, and they are very adaptable to maintaining that status against all the odds. They communicate very little, at least vocally. While mother and cubs might use vocal communication, older cougars rarely do, preferring to rely on body language, scent marking, and simple avoidance. They live alone keeping themselves to themselves, behave secretly, and hunt only under cover of darkness. They display some activity around the hours of dawn and dusk, but it's rare to encounter a cougar in broad daylight, as they generally spend those hours sleeping and resting in small, hidden places. Male cougars are particularly vicious, as they have more to fight for. They mate with more than one female, defend large territories that often overlap with those of females, need to hunt, kill, and eat more often than females, and do not have the female preoccupation of raising cubs. As such, they come into opposition often, and will sometimes fight to the death over a particular prey animal, female cougar, or path of land. Humans are the biggest predators of cougars, with people hunting them for sport and to protect livestock. People are also the main cause of the cats losing their habitats, in states like Florida, highways are often deadly to cougars. Out in the wild, wolf packs will prey on the cats because they're able to surround the animal 
and often overwhelm it with numbers. When it comes to a one-on-one -on -one battle, the cougar will usually survive the match. Wolves are more likely to affect cougars by dominating the same territory and taking advantage of prey opportunities. The feline is not on the endangered species list, but conservation groups remain unsure about how well the cougar population is doing around the world. In the United States, the only state that prohibits hunting them is California. However, it is illegal to hunt them in Costa Rica, Guatemala, Venezuela, Brazil, and throughout most of Argentina. Poachers target cougars, but the effects of this action on the cat are unknown. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service reports that the illegal animal part trade is a $200 million a year market, and it's growing. As you can see, cougars are extremely strong cats and have amazing qualities. But can they cope in Africa, among lions, hyenas, and many other powerful animals? Africa is the only continent on Earth that harbors living monsters or megafauna. It's the only place on Earth where megafaunal abundance and diversity still exist for real. Given that the cougar thrives in so many new world environments, we think it's safe to say that it would find a niche in several African environments if human interference was minimized. Mountain lions would have their challenges adjusting to the new competition from lions, hyenas, and wild dogs, but we believe they'd try to stick to dense cover, like leopards. So the main competitor of a cougar in this hypothetical scenario would be the leopard. Cougars are heavier than leopards, but leopards will not go down without a fight. Both cats have a varied diet based on deer, fish, snakes, rabbits, foxes, monkeys, and many other animals. They aren't picky about their diets. When there are no fierce competitors around, cougars have been known to kill larger prey. Killing a large elk when there are wolf packs around is too energetically draining. Wolves are always near elk, so if they notice a cougar kill, it's easier for them to swoop in and steal it. As one of their names suggests, they do well in some mountainous areas, and the Atlas Mountains, the highlands of Northeast Africa, and some South African areas would be possible. Leopards aren't common in those areas. Cougars also do well in semi-arid regions, but since there are also leopards in those areas, competition might be a problem. They fill a similar niche there, and one of them is going to be in trouble. The same could be said for the rainforests. Leopards and cougars are unlikely to kill each other because there's more to lose when fighting something as skilled and as big as you. As a result, they'd keep a respectful distance between them. However, fights would inevitably occur. It is the nature of things. So they'd either adapt to finding specific areas to dominate, or one would hunt during the day and the other at night. The close relation genetically between cheetahs and cougars would mean that they could likely crossbreed, but that would be close to impossible considering cats don't do that in the wild. Although these scenarios are very interesting, they should only remain in the fictional stage. There can only be so many apex predators to an ecosystem, whether there are humans on the planet or not. There would be competition for territory and food regardless of how many prey animals there are. One apex predator species is enough to keep prey animal numbers in check. Mixing different species of apex predators would deplete their prey. This isn't just one animal of each species. These are procreating animals, and the more they are, the less prey there is. Despite conditions like drought, animals are still adapted to the environment in which they are born. There's more to it than just a place to live. Their way of hunting is different. The way they move around is different. For example, tigers hunt alone in jungles. African lions hunt in savannas and in groups called prides. A pride cannot work collectively to kill an animal in the jungle, and the tiger would not be able to use camouflage and stealth to ambush its prey in the savanna. Now that you've heard our opinion, we want to know yours. What do you think would happen if cougars migrated to Africa? We're waiting for your answers in the comments. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.